WaveLab Pro 9 now allows you to automate the effect send level using the Envelope tab. Use the Effect tab to add a clip effect. Set its routing to the Blend Wet into Dry. Then, on the corresponding Envelope tab below, choose that effect from the drop-down menu. This same drop-down menu also allows you to select Pan and Fade automation envelopes. Then, simply double-click on the envelope line to create curve points. The Smoothing option allows you to make those changes as subtle as you'd like. WaveLab Pro 9 also provides tools to streamline CD creation. You can import CD text and ISRC codes from a text file or Excel sheet. The former limitation of CD reports limited to 99 minutes has been resolved and you can copy and paste markers between WAV files and montages. And WaveLab Pro 9 includes a new, easy-to-customize naming scheme in the Render tab. You can quickly create a new naming scheme simply by selecting and arranging the various attributes. WaveLab Pro 9 is easier to navigate and configure than previous versions thanks in part to the new docking system. First, you can quickly rearrange any of these tabs by simply dragging them to a new position. You can also drag a tab out of the window frame to create a free-floating version. And now you have the option to redock this window in numerous different ways, depending on how you'd like your workspace configured. Now if I click and drag on a floating window, a variety of hotspots appear across the display. The hotspots correspond to where the window can be docked, and if you hover over a hotspot, you'll see a ghost outline of the docking position appear. So if I want this meter to flow across the top of this tool window, I can drop it on this hotspot. But if I want it to dock across the entire top of the screen, I can drop it on the hotspot in the center of the overall display. And I can simply click and drag its frame again to undock and refloat the window. Another trick to save space is that you can double click on the frame and collapse the window in its current position, then double click again to unfold it. This works for almost any window, including tool windows. And if your edit area is subdivided, you can zoom in and out of each window by double-clicking its tab. But let's click and drag this floating window again and take a closer look at those hotspots. Notice there are two different colors. Also, notice that if I hover over the gold hotspot at the top center, it shows that my window will be docked across the entire top of the monitor, like we just saw. But if I move over to the magenta hotspot, top left, I see the same ghost outline. The difference is that the magenta hotspot is a dynamic dock, meaning that the floating window will collapse into the workspace frame, like this. Then to unhide it, simply click on the window's name, and the frame and the associated window fly out for use. Then simply click anywhere outside the window to hide it again. And just like before, I can click and drag it to refloat it. So now, if I click and drag this window, you can see the options for the gold static docking positions, as well as the magenta dynamic docks, and then place the window wherever it's going to work best for you. And finally, what if I want to reinstall this window as a tab? Basically put it back where we first found it, as a tab in the upper left window. Easy. You simply drag it to the gold folder icon in the center of the window, and it will automatically snap back into a tab location. Then you can drag that tab to any position in the lineup. You can also drag and drop a window into one of the four control windows. This is helpful for organizing your tool windows for use with multiple monitors. Another innovation in WaveLab Pro 9 is the new resampling tab in the master section. Simply enable the resampler, then select what sample rate you would like WaveLab Pro 9 to output to from the drop down menu. And if the sample rate you require isn't offered in this list, click Customize to enter any value that you need. The Master section also offers two new multiband mastering tools, the Multiband Envelope Shaper and the Multiband Expander. Click on an empty effect slot, then select Steinberg, Dynamics, and the Multiband Expander. The expander can be used to increase the dynamic range of a mix by reducing lower volume passages even further and boosting louder areas even higher. 
but it's the multi-band capability that makes this so flexible. For example, you have the option to expand the dynamic range of the high frequencies only while leaving the bass frequencies alone. So you have the option to add more life to, say, the strings while not eroding the compression structure of the drum. And of course, if you select a more extreme curve, the expander will function as a world-class noise gate to eliminate noise from pauses and quiet passages. The multiband envelope shaper also gives you incredible control over the mastering process. And unlike a traditional single band envelope shaper, the multiband capability lets you really zero in on the trouble spots. For example, if you need to enhance the attack of a snare drum in a mix, you can click and drag one band to center very tightly on the frequency range of the snare. Then sculpt the transient structure as required. You can even adjust the gain structure of each band independently if needed.